Okay, so in class, when we were doing our angle stations, we were struggling a little bit with vertical angles and angle bisectors. So today's assignment, we are going to do some examples that talk about vertical angles and angle bisectors. So number one says, if the measure of angle PQT is equal to 3x plus 47, and the measure of angle SQR is equal to 6x, 6x minus 25, Find the measure of angle SQR. So first we just want to look at our pictures here. Angle PQT I have highlighted in blue. The measure of angle PQT is 3x plus 47. Angle SQR I have highlighted in green. The measure of angle SQR is 6x minus 25. To solve this problem, we first need to figure out what is the relationship between angle PQT and angle SQR. So what type of angles are they? The correct answer there is that they are vertical angles. Remember, vertical angles are across from each other and their measures are equal to each other. So to solve the problem, we're going to say that the measure of angle PQT, which is our blue angle, is equal to the measure of angle SQR, which is our green angle. Now I want you to choose what the next step in this equation is going to look like. We are actually going to take the value for the measure of angle PQT, which is 3x plus 47, and we are going to set it equal to the value of our green angle, SQR, which is 6x minus 25. Because remember, when we have vertical angles that are across from each other like that, they are congruent. So if we wanted to use our angle markings to mark them, we could say, hey, this angle is congruent to this angle. They are the same. All right, so now we have 3x plus 47 equals 6x minus 25. This is an algebra equation. We are going to solve it for x. So the first thing we're going to do is get all of our x's on one side and all the numbers on the other. Remember, when we're solving an equation, the goal is to isolate the variable, to isolate x, to get it by itself. When we do that, we get that 47 is equal to 3x minus 25. Now we have all of our x's on the right hand side, we need to get all of our numbers, our constants, on the left hand side. So we're going to take that negative 25 and to move it over, we are going to add 25 to both sides. When we do that, we get 72 equals 3x. Remember, that 3x, that's like 3 times x, so to get x by itself, we want to divide by 3 on both sides. So I want you to do that now on your calculator or on Desmos, and then click in the answer to this equation on the question that's going to pop up now. When you click in your answer, you find that 24 is equal to x. So the value of x in this problem is 24. We now want to ask ourselves, are we done with the problem? If we go back and read the original problem, are we done? Can we say x equals 24 and move on with our lives? Hopefully you said no, because the problem wants us to find the measure of angle SQR. That's what it's looking for here. So we're going to say, hey, the measure of angle SQR, we know that that is equal to 6x minus 25. And we know from the previous slide and the work we did that x is equal to 24. So what are we going to do now? The correct answer is we're going to take that 24 and we are going to substitute it in for x. So everywhere we saw an x in this equation, we're going to replace it with a 24. So the measure of angle SQR is equal to 
6 times 24 minus 25. When we go through and do that, 6 times 24 is 144. So the measure of angle SQR is equal to 144 minus 25. Now you want to take this and put it in your calculator and tell me what is the measure of angle SQR. The correct answer there is 119. So the measure of angle SQR is 119 degrees. All right, the second problem we're going to work on, it says if ray UW bisects, that's an important word, angle TUV, so first let's just look at that part. Ray UW bisects angle TUV. What does the word bisects mean? Bisects means to cut into two congruent parts. So if we look here, ray UW bisects this angle into two congruent angles. So we want to mark that on our picture. Angle TUW and angle VUW are going to be congruent. We can say that because ray UW is a bisector. And then it says the measure of angle TUW is equal to 13x minus 5. The measure of angle WUV is equal to 7x plus 31. Find the value of x. So we're going to take those values and we're going to put them on our picture. So here I have done that. I have labeled that the measure angle TUW is 13x minus 5 and angle WUV is 7x plus 31. We also know that these two angles are what? Ray UW is a bisector, which means that angle TUW and angle WUV are congruent. So let's mark that. They are congruent. So we know that the measure of angle TUW, not TUM, let me fix that. The measure of angle TUW is equal to the measure of angle VUW because ray UW is an angle bisector. So now I want you to click in what the next line of this equation is going to look like. We need to take the values for these angles and substitute them into the equation. So what is that going to look like? All right, when we do that, we get that 13x minus 5, because that's the angle TUW, is equal to 7x plus 31, because that is the expression that represents the measure of angle WUV. Now we are going to take this equation and solve it for x. So first we need to get all of our x's on one side, our constants on the other. So we're going to subtract 7x from both sides of the equal sign. When we do that, we get that 6x minus 5 is equal to 31. We have all of our x terms on the left-hand side of the equal sign. We need to get all of our constants on the right-hand side. So we're going to take this minus 5 and move it over. To move it over, you want to ask yourself, what is the opposite of subtracting 5? And the correct answer is adding 5. So you want to add 5 to both sides of the equal sign. When we do that, we get that 6x equals 36. Remember, that is 6 times x equals 36. So how do you undo multiplication? You divide. Divide both sides by 6, and what do we get for the value of x? Hopefully you said 6. x is equal to 6. My next question is, are we done with this problem? Can we say x equals 6, be done, and move on with our lives? And the answer there is, yes, we are done. We can be happy that we are done because the question here just wants us to find the value. Ooh, let me undo that. It just wants us to find the value of x, and we did that. 
So we found the value of x and we are done.